Following their teams, we've got Italy, the predominantly white uniforms, Hong Kong in the red. We are set to get underway in just a moment. My name is George Scott. Next door at Brossard, Steve Power has the call of that game. Glad to be bringing you all the games of the ISBHF World Championship here from Zug. Had some internet problems earlier. They have been resolved. The guys worked hard on that for the last couple of hours. Took a while to get things up and running. We didn't get our first game on live this morning. Came in, I understand, early in the third period of our previous game between Great Britain and the Cayman Islands. And what an exciting finish that was. Ended up 3 3. One of the more exciting games we've seen so far this week. And we've seen some good ones. This one expected to be a close contest. Italy and Hong Kong. First chance I've had to get a look at either of these teams. They're in group number four in the B pool. I've done some games in group three in the B pool so far. India has looked very, very strong in their B pool games, winning easily 7 1 and 9 to nothing. Now we'll see what group four has to bring as we get underway. Goaltenders for Italy starting down to our right. John Dionardo and for Team Hong Kong to our left, Vincent Ban. All right, set to get underway. Three 15 minute periods of world ball hockey competition to bring your way. Price with a little bit of trouble handling it is Matt Price for Hong Kong. Up ahead for Ma. He stopped right away. Ma gets it back. Still can't get it in over the line. Price has got it. Price in over the blue line. Things open up a little bit for him. Shot right on net. Saved by Leonardo. And he'll hang on. And Price somehow, once he crossed that blue line, the defense a little bit too wide for Italy. And Price able to sneak right on in there and get a good shot on net. Just 18.6 seconds into this game. Face off one by Italy. They'll bring it out the left side. Cardinal threw it through the crease, cleared away by Bin. Cardinal down in the corner. Wong is on him. Trying to work it out in front. Shot goes wide, comes here to the near side. Will be kept in by Antonielli. Cleared away by Hong Kong, and Lee's got it. Lee is up the left side, mishandled the ball a little bit, and Varelli clears it back in for Italy, and in with a bit of an adventure, dives out, hangs on to it, gets a whistle and a face-off down to our left. Just a minute in. Face-off control by Hong Kong. Off the boards, only as far as center. Played back in. Scarito, far side. Ball is mishandled over there. Tomasino, Tomasico rather, for Italy. Got it out, shot right back in again by Hong Kong. Durr into the corner for Hong Kong here in the near side. Stays in the corner, battling hard in there is Contento. Ball comes up high, that goes out of play just down below us. Faceoff will stay in the Italian end of the ice. Both teams will make changes. Into the corner of the ball goes Vitali. For Italy, Vitali. Watched by UA. Vitali comes here in the near side for Dentamaro. Up ahead to Ferlisi. Ferlisi through the crease, they score! What a beautiful setup! Ferlisi with the pass. Right on the doorstep to tip it home.
believe the goal scorer was Anthony Gentamaro. What a setup by Ferlizzi. Got them on the left side. And Gentamaro just reaching for him. one hand on the stick, tipped it past Ben and one to nothing for Italy. Hong Kong get it. They'll just clear it down the floor, and that'll be flooring. We'll come back to our left. One of the nicer goals we've seen gives Italy a one to nothing lead here early in the first period. Just 2.07 in right now. Face off loose in the circle. Hong Kong come up with it. They'll clear it out. Gets out pass center. Vitali back in his own end. Good pass up ahead for Perigini. Tried to get it back. And the ball is cleared down the floor. Don't know if this will have enough for flooring as they hustle back to get it. Nope. Play will continue. Italy come up with it. Vitali over on the far side for Fianconi. Ian Connie plays it back. To Perigini. Perigini pass went between his skates, but he get the return pass. Here's Perigini with a breakaway. Perigini shoots. What a save by Bin. Hong Kong may have gotten away with the penalty there as Perigini took a whack across the arms as he had that breakaway, but got a good shot away and an even better save by Vincent, sorry, Ben. Bam with a great save. The Chazelle for Hong Kong gave it away. Shot got behind Bam, but he reaches back, keeps it out. Good chance there for Michael Cardinal. He came off the boards. Couldn't get it past Ban that time. He looked behind him, but kept it out. Again, the ball went out of play. We get the another whistle and a face-off in the Hong Kong end of the floor. Lee up to the left side, cut off over there nicely by Fiore. Dumped in, and Leonardo's going to hang on to it. We'll get a whistle down in the Italian end of the end of the floor. Italy will make changes. Hong Kong stands pat. Price and Wong back in the points waiting for it for Hong Kong, but the ball goes into the corner. Everybody battling in there for it. Going in to help out is Scarito. Murphy's gonna call a holding penalty. It's gonna go to Italy. Number eight, Matthew Bernardo. So Bernardo goes for two. Hong Kong on the power play, trailing by a goal. Early in the first period. Contento. Didn't get it out. Kept in. Lee. Outside the blue line. Lee. He'll get the return pass. Down for Wong. Back for Lee. He likes to shoot it. That's easily blocked and shorthanded. Two on one shaping up for Italy. They'll dump it in and Giordano will peel off and head to the bench. Rick Lee up ahead for Wong. Wong gets to the blue line, dumps it in. Getting back there first is Varelli. Varelli for Italy. That goes off a stick and out of play. I'm going to say it went off the Hong Kong player's stick, so the Face-off will come outside the blue line. It's 
Still a minute 18 left to go in the power play for Hong Kong. Wall wins the faceoff. Wong has it, heads to the left side, chips it off the boards, gets it himself. Wong with a bit of room. Wong, shot went wide. Back here at the blue line. Held in by Fang Su, back to Wa. Long shot, that's tipped in front. Another shot from outside, blocker save. Comes off the end boards, out in front, clear but not out. Big slap shot, save again by Dianardo. They score the rebound! Hong Kong makes good on the power play and ties it up, 1-1. So good response from Hong Kong. They gave up that early goal, but respond with a power play goal. We're tied 1-1. Two players jostling before the whistle. Referee had enough of that. On sports, Malik would go to both. Chia for Hong Kong. I'm not sure the number of the Italian player. That's Satachi. Players collide at center. No penalty call there. So we're still at even strength. That was coincidental minors. Wall, he'll drop it off for Hines. Hines will clear it in. Get on it first, Hong Kong. There's Owen Durr. Brings it here into the near side. Big collision, four players go crashing into the boards. And looks like we may have a repeat of the last game we did between Great Britain and Cayman Islands. Steady stream of penalties. Slash to Hines of Hong Kong. Italy will go on the power play. 5.43, that's all we've got gone here in the first period. A lot of whistles here early in this period. Couple of goals, rash of penalties. Perigini taking the face off for Italy against Rick Lee of Hong Kong. Perigini wins it. Tomasiccio. Back to the captain, Varelli. Tomasiccio. Varelli, his slap shot. That ricocheted off one of his teammates in front and went wide. Thomas Ichio, his shot, locked in front, ball bouncing around. Italy got to it, and Ferlizzi got a good shot away. That went wide. Back at the point, Thomas Ichio. Shot was blocked by Lee. Goes into the corner. Wong for Hong Kong. Will backhand it down the floor. And Varelli will have to go back it. Leonardo plays it up to him. Minute 12 left to go on the power play. They'll gain the zone. Back to Varelli. Thomas Iccio. Varelli takes a shot over the far side. They'll slide it in front. Easy save. They were looking for the deflection as Fiaconi let it go. Ball went out of play. Still one minute exactly remaining in the power play for Italy. Conte back at the point now for Italy. He'll set things up. Comes back to Conte. 
Here's the slap shot. Ben got a piece of that with the right pad, made the save, back to Conte. Over on the right side. Again, back to Conte. Throw it in front, intercepted by Lee. He cleared it down the ice. Or that's Wong, rather, 48, not 14. Throw it down the floor, that's one for me. I'll keep track every time I say ice or puck. Try and keep it under three per game. Got through the last one with a zero. And one in so far in this one. Nice play at the blue line to break that up. Down the floor and back to get it goes Fiore. Long shot right in on Ban. He dives out, sweeps it away. Getting to it first is Divizio. Loses it and cleared down the floor just as the penalty expires. So we're at even strength. Backhanded in by Hong Kong. Collision at the blue line. Van Sock was knocked down. Italy come up with the ball down in deep in their own end. They'll bring it out. Flip pass up at the blue line. That's knocked down. Ball bouncing around. Looking for it there was Di Tamaro. Knock it down. That's going to be knocked down with a high stick. Tamaro says it wasn't that high. The ball was in the air, but less than waist high. Not having. This is a discussion we had last night at another game at various levels of ball hockey. Touching the ball with a high stick is an automatic penalty. Not here at the ISBHF World Championships, however. And tomorrow, one of the reasons he was so upset, he, he headed right into the penalty box. The referee had to go in and say, no, no, it's just a stoppage of play. Again, we're even strength, tied at one. Scarito played it back. Scarito cutting through center, gets the return pass, chasing after it. Here's Scarito with a burst of speed, gets a weak backhand away. Band dives out, keeps it away. Ball is cleared out towards the blue line. Ma tried to chip it off the boards to himself. He was cut off. Ball comes back to Hugh, to Lee. Lee with the slap shot, saved by Leonardo. Shot, band, glove save, hangs on. 9.27 gone, third period. Both teams completing wholesale changes. It is warm inside the ice arena. Not very icy here today. What a overcast day here in Zug. It's raining quite a bit earlier this morning. Walked over to the arena from our hotel. Light drizzle was falling. Nothing that an umbrella couldn't take care of. It rained a little harder than that. Later in the morning, things clearing off a little bit, but it is humid. So tough on the players with these conditions. Antonielli for Italy. Working his way up along the half wall. Cycles it back down low. Back waiting for it is Fiore. Fiore gets it out in front, cleared to the boards. Satachi couldn't get to it. Now Hong Kong come up with it. Dangerous pass. They got away with it. Here's Owen Durr. Durr just gets to the blue line and draped all over him as the Italian player. And he's going to pick up a penalty for that. That's going to be holding. Just draped himself over the smaller player from Hong Kong. Big Daniel Conte, not particularly fond of that call, heads to the penalty box. Hong Kong on the power play now.
Ball goes into the corner. First to get there is Varelli. It comes back to Lee. Lee in neutral area, down low. Long shot, or pass, really that was. Cross floor way too hard. Went off the Hong Kong player's stick and out of play. It's meant to be a pass, but it was hard enough to be a shot. No way for his teammate to handle that. Cleared down the floor by Italy. Quickly goes back to get it. This is Lee. He'll bring it up the floor for Hong Kong. Lee waiting. Off the board, skiing the zone, comes back. Lee does a good job to knock it down, keep it on side. Lee over on the right side for Wong. Wong fakes the shot. Back to Lee. Lee is just holding it. Lee back to Wong. Wong from the half wall gets a shot and a good blocker saved by DiNardo. Good accurate shot from Wong. Tough angle. One off the blocker of DiNardo and out of play. Again, we'll get... Full changes, both teams. Hong Kong win the faceoff. That to Wong. He'll shoot it himself. Wong right on goal. Good save by DiNardo. Rebound was there. Made a second save. Now it's finally cleared. Italy get it down the floor. Under a minute to go in the power play. John Bernard Waugh flips it in. Getting back there first was Vitali for Italy. Vitali off the boards and out and down the floor. And comes out to play, get it up ahead quickly. Wong. Shot whistles at what? He can really wire the ball. Got a lot on that. Just went wide. Wong again. Wong to Wong. Thinking about it, decides to shoot it, and that was blocked by Bernardo, and no doubt that stung a little bit. Wong looking to shoot that the whole time. He's going to come off. You get full change again. 12 seconds left to go in the penalty to Bernardo. Yue in to take the face off for Hong Kong. Italian centerman's been waved out. Fiaconi comes in to take it. And we're going to get a little delay here. Some sort of discussion going on. Two minutes on Sportsmanlike to Italy. He must have had to do with why he was waved out of the circle or what happened after he got waved out because there wasn't much of anything happening. Borelli's going to go. I have to think he said the magic word to the referee, and it was enough to get a misconduct. It's now a two-man advantage for Hong Kong. Ball loose in the circle, goes to the boards. Back to the point, Hong Kong get it, in behind the net. Yue, looking out in front, ball bounces over the top of the net. And my goodness, we're gonna get another penalty called. And the reaction of the fans here is similar to mine. It's gonna be a slashing call. Again, going to Italy. It's been non-stop here, late in the, or sorry, late in the second period. Captain Varelli wants to have a chat about this. 
see both captains down there talking to the referees. Let me get this situation straightened out. It's getting a little bit out of hand right now with the rash of penalties. It's late in the first period. We spoke earlier, just this is taking a long time to play this first period. Game must be over next door at the Broussard Arena because fans are beginning to pile in here now, and it is a pretty good crowd now here at the Ice Arena. Over 5,000 over at Broussard earlier for that big game between Canada and Switzerland. And uh, now they're filing into the Ice Arena to watch this game. Whistle goes, another penalty, this time to Hong Kong and a bit of bad blood there. Italian player very upset at Wong of Hong Kong. His teammates get him in there to get him out of it. Not happy about it. Number 91, Satachi of Italy, still having words with Wong, Colin Wong of Hong Kong. Final in that Canadian-Switzerland game, Canada-Swiss, 7-2, Canada defeats Switzerland. Here it is one to one in what has been a lengthy first period, which has got yet another delay. I want to say hello to all the folks following the Italian national team here at the ISBHF, who I noticed uh, picked up a number of new followers from the Italian community, welcome aboard. Love to hear from you. Feel free to send me a note, let me know where you're watching from, what your connection to the game is, your comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. Price. Across the floor. It's a four on three power play for Hong Kong. Burst of speed down the left side by Derek Wong. Was forced into the corner though, not much came of that. Ball comes into the opposite corner, put back in behind the net. Derek Wong's got it again, now behind the net. Wong forced over to the far corner. Lee is waiting back at the blue line, he gets it. Rick Lee directing traffic to Derek Wong. Lee to Wong. Wong top of the circle, tried to pass it down low. That was intercepted by Conte. Hong Kong come up with it. Conte gets a stick on that. Back to Lee. Fakes a shot. Over to Wong. His shot. Leonardo stopped that. Leonardo. Throwing in the extra syllable there. Lee does a great job sliding over to keep it on side. Lee to Wong. Still 30 seconds to go in the power play. Fakes it again. Wong with a shot. Another blocker saved by Leonardo. Rebound was there. Put wide and it goes up and out of play. And you can see the reaction there of the Hong Kong player, number three, Matt Price. As he saw the ball drop in the crease off the save by DiNardo, but trying to put it up high over the Italian goaltender, put it up and out of play. Wasn't touched. And the faceoff will come outside the blue line and Yep, the ice arena is just about full now. A big crowd on hand for this one. As fans have filtered over from the next door to Sarad Arena. Shot right on goal, save made by DiNardo.
Face off one by Hong Kong. Hines across. Mania shot. Rebound is right there, reaching for it. Was Yue, and somehow it stayed out. Looked like he had the open net. Yue, back to the point. Shot by Hines, right on net. Again, the rebound is there. Denardo's making the save of giving up the rebounds. Coming out of the penalty box was Varelli. Almost came up with it. Hines reaching for it. Now it's a five on four. Power play for Italy. <laughs> Partial breakaway shot saved by Ben. Paragini had a chance. Ball bouncing around and Ben dives out, covers up as so we go back and forth. Chance a moment ago for Jonathan Yue. Three or four times in that power play, the shot would come in. DiNardo made the save, but rebound lay there dangerously each time, and somehow Hong Kong able to put it behind DiNardo. The ball just stayed out, flipped high in the air. Chasing after it is Wong. It's Derek Wong, speedy winger for Hong Kong. Hong Kong player pushed into the boards. They wanted a penalty call there. Not happening. There goes the buzzer as Tomasiccio brought it in over the blue line. And finally, the first period comes to an end. It's been a long first period. That took what felt like forever to play with all the penalties, the delays. A couple of goals. We're tied 1-1 after one period of play. a little bit of a longer break than normal. Trouble getting the Italian team back out onto the floor. They were a little late coming out. We are set to get underway with period number two. Italy versus Hong Kong tied 1-1. Italy on the power play as we start this second period. A minute 20 left to go in the penalty to Colin Wong of Hong Kong brought in by Divizio. Back to Conte. Conte's got it again. He'll just feed it across. He'll play catch with it. Now over to Divizio. Back to Conte. To Divizio. His shot. Good pad save by Ben. And he'll cover up on the rebound. Face off. Controlled by. Hong Kong cleared down the floor. DiNardo up ahead to Conte. Daniel Conte gets it to Divizio. Trying to get around the outside, forced down into the corner. Satachi. Conte, he misfired on that pass and it's picked off. Lee is <laughs> doing all the work himself. Finally pushed off the ball by Fiore, Fiore got it in over the blue line then plays it back. Here's Conte, the big slap shot, scores! Fiore was in front, not sure if he deflected it. The shot came from Conte from just outside the blue line. Fiore was there next to the goal post. Not sure if he got a piece of it. We will have to wait for the official announcement. But it's a power play goal for Italy. And they take a two to one lead here early in the second period. That penalty for Long still showing up on the clock, but. Long is out of the penalty box. We are five on five right now. Jin up ahead at center. Durr was calling for it. Pass was picked off. Fiaconi over on the far side. Finds Tomasiccio. In front they score. Paragini. 
on a beautiful setup by Tomasiccio. Two quick goals. It's about 30 seconds apart by the Italians, and they've taken a three to one lead now. Still waiting for the announcement on that second Italian goal. Another shot. So Taccio, his shot, that went off the outside of the goal post. So we get the announcement on the third goal. No announcement on the second one yet. Italian's got two quick ones, almost got a third one. Hit the outside of the goal post, and they control it off the faceoff. Turning there is Scarito. Into the corner goes Giordano. Bernardo knocked down in the corner. The Italians stay with it. Hong Kong come up with the ball. Flip it high through center over in the far side. Racing after it was Pond, Kevin Pond. Couldn't catch up to it, Italy comes away. Giordano, good pass through center. Up ahead for Vitali, he lays it off. Ball comes in front and Wong has got it. Wong reverses it over to the far side, Pan. Pan at the blue line, that's gonna be intercepted. Italy's gonna bring it back in, shot, saved by Bannis, he got the right pad down. Conte intercepted that ball at center, brought it in. Stolen away by Scarito. Tried to get it out in front as Ferlisi was cutting in front of the net. Back to Conte. His shot deflected, goes wide. As Ferlisi got a stick on that. Price for Hong Kong. Up towards the blue line, but muscled off. Shot saved by Ban. Tony Alley, Anthony Alley, rather for Italy with that good play at center. Broke in for the shot. Delayed penalty coming up to Hong Kong. Italy controlling it along the boards for Lisi. Down in the corner. They work it out in front. There's a shot by Anton Liali. Blocked in front, covered up. The whistle goes. Italy will go on the power play, leading three to one. Good shift for number 49. Michael Antonelli started all that by intercepting a pass at center. Got the first good shot away and then drew the penalty and then had the good chance right at the end of the delayed penalty call. Italy control it off the face. I get it in front. Shot Band makes a save as the ball came to Divizio. And he managed to get the ball towards the net. Didn't get a lot on it. Just six seconds gone in the penalty. 350, as you can see, gone in the second period. As I mentioned, by far the biggest crowd we've seen so far here at the Ice Arena. A lot of that fans filtering over from the Bassard Arena where Canada and Switzerland just played a game in the A pool, men's division. Canada won it seven to two. Had a chance to drop over there between games here at the ice arena and watch a bit of that game. And over 5,000 fans on hand at the Bossard. They were loud, they were cheering. Team was down five to nothing when I got there. They were still chanting and singing and cheering loudly. Great atmosphere at the Bossard this afternoon. And now they've brought that to the ice arena. Where Italy leads Hong Kong three to one. One more game to be played here at the ice arena today. That'll be Haiti and Armenia. 
That game scheduled for six o'clock local time. I'll have the call of that game for you. There's a chance for Leasy breaking in, shoots. That's Perigini, rather 14, not four, and uh, Van makes a save. Players pile up in the crease. Not much gonna come of that. Perigini, who got the third Italian goal, looking for another one there. Came very close. Italy still on the power play. One minute left to go in the penalty to Hong Kong. Right into the crease, they score. And that was for Lisi. Work the ball down low, get it out in front. Good things can happen. Ball was bouncing, Felici didn't get a lot on it, but enough to knock it past the goaltender. Italy now beginning to take over this game. They lead it 4 to 1, 454, gone in the second period. Italy, three goals in the first five minutes of this second period have broken it open a little bit, giving themselves some breathing room. They lead by three. And they come back again. This is number 23, Giordano, pinned against the boards. Scarito. Plays it back. They'll get it down in low. Hong Kong come up with it. Only as far as center kept in. Shot by Vitali. Bounced around, ended up over in the far corner. And Scarito for Italy. And get it out in front, tries to wrap around. That doesn't work. So here again, a little back pass out in front, kept in by Varelli. Scarito behind the net. Giordano. Giordano battling hard along the boards. Pinching in over there was big number 65, Vitali, but missed the ball. Varelli has it. To Bernardo. Leaves it back for Varelli. Bernardo, shot in right on net by Scarito. Verlizzi, with the Italian chant going up now as Denuso comes out. Jam to the side of the net, Bond holds on to it. We'll get a face off, 626 gone now in the second period. Italy dominating the second period, just 1-1 after the first, but they put a three spot up here early in the second period and have really taken control of this game from a ball possession point of view, floor possession point of view, scoreboard point of view. Shot right on goal, Ban made the save as that changed direction in front. Over on the far side to Chazelle, clears it down the floor. Denardo leaves it for his defenseman. Colella. They'll go over on the far side for Lisi. They didn't get it in over the blue line on the first time, so that's going to be offside at the Hong Kong blue line. Hong Kong will make a change, as will the Italians. Face off just outside the Hong Kong blue line. And the loose ball gobbled up by Hong Kong. They'll move it up ahead. Digging hard over there is Jeff Wall. Throws it back towards the blue line, but taken away by Fiaconi. Again, back to his defense. Set up behind the net. Slow things down a little bit. Look for that long pass up the middle. Faked it the first time. Elected to keep it and just play it to the sidewall. Back to the defense. Off the boards, up ahead. 
Perini. Outside, shot comes in, wider than net. Hong Kong player knocked down behind the net, no call, play continues on. Clear to the sideboard and Hong Kong have it. It'll go far side, this is Wall. Wall. Durr's got a bit of room now on this side. Durr, in a little deep now, put it just wider than that. Wall over in the far side. He'll try his luck from there. Ball goes high in the air. Durr has it behind the net. They'll try and get it back out in front. Intercepted nicely by Conte. Off the boards. Berlizzi from his own side of the red line. Flooring, or if you prefer the traditional icing call. Still hear the players calling out icing on that. Technically, flooring. In behind the net, Vitali looking for it for Italy. UA is in there. Here's Vitali. Vitali. He has it taken away. Good job here by Hong Kong. Ball came over the top of the net, out in front. Wa holds it in. Italy comes up with it. They'll reverse it back behind the net. Battle back there. The Italians have it up ahead. Good play there. He'll move it down the right side. Fiore, he stopped. Race for the ball. Derek Wong, Vitale. Wong comes up with the Wong, trying to get out in front. Poke check by DiNardo. Penalty coming up to Italy. And Hong Kong will Get a power play chance. Maybe get back in this one. They can cut it to two. They trail by three right now. 4-1. They'll go on the power play. Massimo Vitali gets the gate for the Italians. Eric Chu out there with Chia Lee for Hong Kong, along with Price. It's their power play unit. And the other man back on the point is number 12, Colin Wong. This is Lee. He'll quarterback this power play to Wong, to Lee. Chia's over on this side. Chia puts it towards the net. Easy save for DiNardo. Rebound, and he'll control that as well. A couple of shots on that, neither one of them particularly dangerous. Minute 41 left to go in the power play. Two wins the face off cleanly, back to Lee. Lee to Chia. He'll back it up towards the blue line, have a little look around. He'll elect to shoot it himself, that one off a couple of sticks over into the corner. Lee has to hustle to keep it in. He's knocked down. Play continues. Italy short-handed. Scarito has it taken away at the blue line. Back comes Hong Kong. Quickly up the floor. Chia. We'll have a look around now. Top of the circle. Still looking. Lee is calling for it. Lee gets it. Lee. Wong. Shot. Saved by DiNardo. Comes right back to Wong. To Lee. Lee. Chia, got some room. Chia with a good shot, just missed far side. Lee's gonna have to hustle to hold it in. He does. Lee. Shot doesn't get through. In the slot, ball goes into the corner. Wong has got it. 45 seconds still left to go. Lots of time left in this power play. Good possession here by Hong Kong. He was out in the slot looking for it. And they like to go behind the net. Ball mishandled. Back to get it is Clayton Chia, but it's cleared down the floor by Italy. 25 seconds left to go now in the man advantage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Dumped in. That's going to be offside. So Hong Kong have to come out, and that's going to give Italy all kinds of time to kill on this power play. Down the floor. That'll pretty much do it. Five seconds left to go on the power play. Get the Italians to our right, the Hong Kong fans to our left. Chanting, let's go Hong Kong. Cleared down, that goes out of play. So we're going to face off. It's going to come all the way back in the Italian end of the floor. 11.26 gone. Second period, 4-1. Italy leads Hong Kong. Jeff Wall will take the face off for Hong Kong. Go against David Perigini of Italy. Even strength now, the penalty has expired. Out into center, Perigini couldn't handle it. Ball cleared down the floor. That'll be flooring against Hong Kong. Three twenty-one remaining here in the second period. Perigini will get waved out, coming in to take it is Fiaconi. Fiaconi draws it back, one cleanly, slap shot towards the goal, went wide, taken by Anthony Alley. They'll get it back now, Conte. Conte with a hard shot, saved by Ban. Ball goes high into the corner. Fiaconi trying to fish it out for the Italians. And Fiaconi takes a hard hit into the boards. There's no call on that. Play getting very physical down in the corner. Now the referee's going to blow the whistle. And what we get there is a case of retaliation. The penalty's going to go to Italy for the contact. Yeah, I think maybe... Nope. Oh. Correction on that, it will go to Hong Kong. It wasn't called on that first contact though, it was something that happened afterwards. Not on the one where the player went into the boards. Very hard. Happened afterwards, Derek Wong is gonna go. I thought I saw the Italian player down low give it a little extra shot, one that was hit earlier. I thought maybe he might be getting the call as he retaliated for the initial hit, but the referee saw it differently. The referee was a lot closer than I am. For Italy on the power play. They've got Conte and Varelli back at the point. Conte into the slot. Scurrito. Or Satachi, that is, playing in the high slot for Italy. Back to Conte. This is Satachi. Satachi's shot goes wide. Satachi looking for it again. Heads up. The ball comes up into the crowd. Faceoff is going to come outside the blue line. A minute 31 left to go on the power play. And again, both teams will change up. Perigini won the faceoff back to Varelli. Over on the far side to Tomasiccio, to Varelli. Varelli, Tomasiccio. Tomasiccio, Varelli, down low, in behind the goal looking for Ferlisi. He's knocked off the ball. Italy comes up with it. Back of the point for Fiaconi. Fiaconi, neat little back pass to Varelli, who's moved down low now. Control back at the red line by Fiaconi. Perigini's shot didn't get through. Italians still control it. Here's the captain, Varelli. Elect not to shoot it. 
Paragini in the corner. After Thomas Ciccio. In front, shot saved by Ban. As Fiaconi was set up. Fiaconi back to Varelli. Thomas Ichio has it taken away, and finally Hong Kong get it and clear it down the floor. 15 seconds left to go in the power play. Hong Kong were changing, quick pass up ahead, finds Giordano. Giordano, forced back outside the blue line, puts it down in low, hustling in there is Scarito. Italy comes up with the ball. And there's Wong coming out of the penalty box. Penalty's over, we're back to even strength, five on five. Delayed offside against Italy, but now they'll bring it in. Shot over the top of the net by Giordano as he intercepted it at center. Goes in looking for it behind the net. Taken away by Hong Kong. Pass up through the middle. That miss doesn't connect. Vitali off the boards. Dumped in by Bernardo. Back to get it is Dang to Pan. Cross floor, nobody over there for Hong Kong and going back to get it, it's Divizio. To Colella. Colella. Divizio. And that will do it. Period number two has done a good period for Italy. They put up three and lead it four to one. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more coverage of the 2015 ISBHF. World Championship from Zug, Switzerland in just a moment. Third period coming up. Please don't go away. And we welcome you back for the start of the third period. This game between Italy and Hong Kong. It was just one to nothing. I'm sorry, one one after the first period, but Italy kind of broke it open in the second. Three quick goals, and they lead it now four to one. No penalties on the board as we start this third period. Ball is dumped down the floor, race for it. Italy come up with it first, back in their own end. Up here at the blue line, they find Thomas Iccio. Knocked down by Ma. Cleared out. And here is Thomas Iccio. Thomas Iccio drops it back. Quick shot by Perigini. Glove save was made by Bam, but dropped the ball. Rebound put wide. Hong Kong will settle things down, get it back behind their own goal. This is number three, Matt Price. Price will hold it back there. Hong Kong wanted to make a change, so he'll hold it long enough for them to complete that. Now he'll bring it out. Up ahead to Chia. That pass behind his teammate, Owen Durr. Jean Bernard Waugh at center. Weaving his way through, lost it. Here's a two on one for Italy. Satachio down low. They score in a beautiful play by Alberto Fiore. Took the feed from Satachi. Got it around the outside of the goaltender and tucked it home. And 118 into the third period. Italy extended to a 5 to 1 lead. Satachi to take the face off at center. He's got it. Moves it up ahead to Cardinal. He lost it. Satachi has it back again. Satachi. Back to Contento. Shot goes wide of the net. Bounces around, Ben never did control it. Referee lost sight of the ball, blew the whistle. Little break there for Hong Kong, maybe as the ball was loose. Contento and Varelli back at the blue line for Italy. Satachi stays out there, wins the face off. Satachi handling the ball well. He uses a very long stick. We talked about the short stick. 
Morrison uses for Great Britain. We saw in that last game. Somehow, Satachi with that long stick still able to stick handle very well. Very effective with it. Lamb brought it in over the blue line. Ua fanned on it. Whistle goes. Looks like we may have a penalty coming up. And waiting to see who it's going to go against. Well, it looks like an Italian player headed for the penalty box. Nope, correction. Just an offside. A little bit of a late call. Scarito over on the far side for Giordano. Getting in front is Bernardo. The ball comes into Ben. He hangs on. We get another face off. Hong Kong control from the face off in behind the net. In on him quickly was Giordano. Up towards the blue line, out into center. No further, cleared right back in. That hit the referee. It'll allow Hong Kong to move it out through center. That was touched. Back there to get it is Massimo Vitali. Vitali for Italy, setting up behind his net, being watched there by De Chazelle. Bernardo up along the boards, long pass in for Scarito. Scarito along the half wall, plays it back to Vitali, back down to Scarito, and behind the net, over on the far side. Hustling over there is Giordano. Doesn't get to it first. Hong Kong move it out, but again, not past center. Stopped over there by Divizio. Cleared down the floor by Hong Kong. Both teams complete their changes. Vitali still out there though for Italy, back behind the net. Up ahead, they were looking for Benali. Ua back for Hong Kong. Ua working along the blue line, lost it there. Benali didn't get to that pass. Dang into the corner, up along the boards, out into center, kept in. Long shot just over the top of the net. Cleared down the four before in call against Hong Kong. Hard shot by Anthony Alley a moment ago. And just got a piece of it. May have been going high over the top of the net, but he had trouble tracking it. Anthony Alley and Conte are the point men for Italy. For Lisi to take the face off, he's got Benali on his left. I believe that's Denuzio on his right, number 95. Take the face off against Jonathan Yue. Hong Kong get it, clear it out. Here's a chance. Jump, or it's Pond. Pond down into the corner. Tried to throw it out in front. That was intercepted. Price. Price for Hong Kong. Shot hit a couple of players in front. Goes into the corner, over to the far side. Anthony Alley. Doesn't get it out. Wong has got it. Wong. To the blue line, no further. Able to hold it in, though. Wong now stops in the neutral zone area, plays it in, cross into the slot. Nobody there for Hong Kong, and cleared down the floor. No flooring. They're saying that Price touched it when he reached up with his glove. So the goaltender comes out to help out. Pon just backhands it in. Hustling back there is Vanelli. Varelli. Tomasiccio, back to Conte. Varelli gives it back to Conte in the corner. They just play catch with it back there. 
Conte back behind his own net. We'll settle things down for the Italians. They set up their breakout. Thomas Ciccio almost hit for Relli, who was cutting for the front of the net, or Perigini. He's cutting in over the blue line, just missed that pass. Very deliberate in that breakout. Five twenty-six gone here in the third period. Five-one for Italy. Got a slight delay. Goaltender Vincent Ban has to do some repairs to his equipment. Looks to be his face mask. Need some. Adjusting one of the straps appears to have come loose. A little bit of a lengthy delay. Looks like they've got the problem resolved. Get underway again in just a moment. So face off to the right of Vincent Bond. One by Italy. Early across to Contento, whose shot was blocked by Ben. He got the right pad down. Now Contento's got to hustle back into his own end. Off the boards, Varelli over in the corner. In on him quickly was Owen Durr. Tomasiccio. Good outlet pass up ahead for Perigini. Up to Fiaconi. The ball hopped over his sticker. Might have had a two on one setting up. Again, Contento's got to hustle back to his own end. Goaltender will come out and play it along to his defenseman. It's Vitali. Having a little bit of trouble behind the net. Thomas Ichio in front. Shot, that was blocked. Another chance, this time DiNardo makes the save. Two good chances for Ricky Ma for Hong Kong. Satachi gains the zone and brings it out into center. Vitali. Satachi shot from center right on goal. On again, had to get the right pad down to make the save. Play it back to the point. Vitali. Vitali. Into the slot. That hopped over the stick of the Italian player, and back comes Hong Kong down the left side. In behind the net. Out in front. That was Fan Sock. Back to the blue line. Shot comes in. Save. Nope. Doesn't get through. That was picked off by the Italians. That was Vitali. Vitali looking for the return pass, a little bit too far for him, goes behind the net. And he's going to head to the bench, get a rest. Ball bouncing around at center, the Italians come up with it. Flip it high in the air. Hines back to get it for Hong Kong. Hines to Lamb. Pass up the blue line, that's a good one. Van Sock lost it. Couldn't control that pass. Looked like he had a chance to move in. Antonelli down in deep. Turning in the corner. To the net and Van covers up. Bouncing around top of the circle. Finally cleared out by Hong Kong. Foster will clear it down the floor, right down to DiNardo, who leaves it there for Conte. Conte behind his net. More than halfway through the third period now.
The Italians bring it out. Gained the blue line. Giordano lost his balance as he got to the blue line. The ball is cleared out. Scarito will leave it there for Vitali. Varelli. Italians being very deliberate now as they're under six minutes to go. They've got a four to one lead. They're content to see that time clock run down. Up through the middle, Ferrelli over on the far side. Looking for Denuzio in front. Ball goes into the corner, taken there by Dang. Bin Dang for Hong Kong. Stephen Jin. To Chazelle. He's checked. Benali. Falls awkwardly in the corner. Out comes Dang. Over to Shu. Dumped in by Hong Kong. Varelli goes back to get it. Varelli behind the net. Long pass up at the blue line. They were trying to sing, uh, to uh, hit Dentamario, Dentamaro rather, at the blue line. Spring him free. He was trying to get out. Pass a little bit too far. Flooring will be the call. Under five minutes left now. Colello was able to get it out and he gets the return pass in over the blue line. Colello gets it across to Tentamaro. Behind the net, Price for Hong Kong. Ball goes high in the air, up into the ceiling here at the ice arena. 4.22 to go. Enjoying the cho choice of music here at the ice arena and also next door at the Broussard Arena. I was responsible for the music, pulling out some Moley's Oldies and moldies and goldies, some dandies. A little chumba wumba, tub thumping. Owen Durr to the blue line, no further. Back comes Dantamaro. Across the floor, Jeff Wall gets to it first, plays it right back to his goalkeeper. Man, again, a little awkwardly, dives out, hangs on to it. Under four left to go now. Chance now, shot just missed on the far side. That was Cardinal, set up beautifully. He was looking far side and only missed it by inches. Italy controlling it in their own end. Hong Kong stole it momentarily, now it's Anthony Alley up along the boards. Ball bounces up in the air, kept in by Wall. Lamb waiting for it back at the blue line. Doesn't come to him, goes in behind the net. Denardo leaves it there. And the Italians on the attack. Bernardo couldn't catch up to the loose ball. Wall forced back. Behind his net, over on the far side. Off the boards and they get it out. 
Varelli for Italy. Varelli. Antonielli. Back to Varelli. Goes to Antonielli. Now he'll move it up ahead. Was looking for Ferelli, uh, Felizzi. He mishandled it. Chance here for Hong Kong out in front. Shot scores! Kevin Pan. A bit of a breakdown there by the Italians as the ball was dumped down in their end and nobody really went to go get it. Hong Kong able to get it out in front and Kevin Pan all alone in front. Beats Donardo glove side, so they make it 5-2. Three goal lead, 2-13 left to go in the game. <laughs> Let's go, Hong Kong chair goes up again. Fiaconi plays it back. Contento. Fiaconi. Shot goes wide. Out in front. Ball just bouncing. A tackle there. Old fashioned North American tackle. First and goal from that spot. Darren Hines will head to the penalty box. Minute 47 left to go in the game. Italy will go on the power play, look to add to their lead. Already up five to two. Scarito. Scarito. Far side, Bernardo, slap shot. Ben got a piece of it, just enough to direct it wide of the net. Off the glass, but not out. Scarito will hold it in. To Vitali, Scarito. Vitali, one timer, shot goes wide of the net, and Ben able to trap it against the side of the net. Think about another face off. Time winding down in this one. Minute 17 left to go. Scarito to Vitali. Down to Tomasiccio. Across the floor, that one off a Hong Kong stick. Over in the far side, it's Fiaconi. Tomasiccio, Scarito. Perigini jumping out of the way in front of that shot. Hong Kong come up with the rebound. Clear it down the floor. gains the zone and brings it out to the center area. Vitali to Tomasiccio. Perigini shot goes off a stick wide. Played out in front. Battle won by Italy again. Scarito. Down low for Tomasiccio. Looking for that one timer. Perigini in front. Van with a great save. He thought the ball was loose, went looking for the rebound. Wong didn't like that, and now tempers flare a little bit. Pierre Greeny saying, hey, the ball was loose. I, I got a right to go for it. Now Bernard Waugh took exception to it. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, what added to the problems is Perigini went for that loose ball. The goaltender fan got bumped a little bit, and no defenseman likes it when your goaltender gets bumped by the opposition. Back out into center, taken there by Contento. He'll leave it back. And that'll do it. Good victory for Italy. Well deserved. They control most of the game. They come away with a 5 2 lead. It was tied 1 1 after one period. Italy with three goals in the second period to open up, it, open up a 4 to 1 lead. They had one in the third. 5 1 is your final. Sorry, 5 2. Hong Kong with the late goal by Pan to make it 5-2, your final. One more game on our schedule from the ice arena today. That'll be coming up at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., 1,800 hours local time here in Zug, Switzerland. Game between Haiti and Armenia. Two other teams from B Pool, group number four. That's the group that also features Italy and Hong Kong. And just to let you know what's happening over in the Bosard Arena right now, a game in progress between the Czech Republic and Switzerland. And that'll be followed at 8 o'clock this evening, our final game of the evening coming from Bosard, Portugal, and the United States of America. That's what's left on our schedule, so I'll be back in a little while with that game between Haiti and Armenia. In the meantime, thanks for watching. This is the 2015 ISBHF World Championships from Zug, Switzerland.